All right, in this video, I'm going to go over normal mapping uh, for edges. Uh, so the example I'm going to use is going to be on a cube. Um, you'll notice over here I have three layers, uh, one called high, one called low, and one called export. So my first uh, cube here, I'm going to apply to the low. All right, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and take care of the UVs right now. So we'll open up the UV texture editor. And because I've got 90 degree edges here, um, I actually need to uh, split all the UV seams uh, so I don't get uh, a seam on my normal map. So I'm just going to simply hit automatic map, which will split all of my uh, UV shells just the way I want them. All right, so now I'm going to duplicate this uh, cube, and I'm going to assign it to my high. All right, so here we're going to go and add edge loops. So I'm just going to go ahead and give uh, an edge loop for every edge here, putting uh, two edge loops on either side of the already existing edge to hold the edge. So I'll hit smooth preview to check. Edges are looking okay. Um, so you'll notice that when I hit three, I still do have the edges aren't um, perfectly defined. Uh, so what happens is we've got an edge here and uh, when I hit smooth, it goes, okay, I need to look at the edge to my right and the edge to my left, and I'm going to average, you know, we're going to place this one in the average of these two. So once it's done figuring out this edge, then it goes on to the next edge. So it goes and looks at the edge to the left and then the edge to the right. Well, the next edge to the right is so far over that we start to get this, um, this kind of uh, odd shading. So in order to kind of clean that up, we're just going to throw another set of edge loops here. So that that uh, second edge has another edge uh, on this flat plane to reference. Okay, looks like we're good. Put one too many there. Missing these. Okay, now we've got much better shading uh, on these edges. All right, so this is my high. Now, this is uh, just in preview mode. Okay, so I'm just hitting the three key, which is smooth preview. All right, I wanna keep a version of this because I don't ever want to uh, go ahead and, and smooth this and then export it uh, because I'll, I won't be able to edit it after the fact. Uh, at this point, I can still take these edges and move them, you know, make adjustments, do whatever I need to. So I want to keep a version of this. That's why I'll just take this, duplicate it, and add it to the layer called export. So now I've got this, uh, because when I export in three mode, what's really going to export is just this. Okay. So what I need to do is actually come in, smooth it with a subdivision of two, and that actually adds the geometry and kind of you know hard codes that stuff in there. Now at this point, if I needed to go back with this mesh and edit, it would be very difficult because of all of the, the uh, edge loops and the geometry. So again, that's why I just make uh, these three versions. Let's just move this low down to the bottom. So we've got, first we created the low, uh, then the high, and then the export. All right, so let's go ahead and export these. So I'm going to export my low, which is history, freeze, transforms, export. 
Um, for my low, I want to check on smoothing groups and check on triangulate. And we'll go ahead and export that as box low. For my export high, history, freeze transforms, export selection. I want to uncheck triangulate. We'll export high. All right. Now we'll come over to Painter 2. And we'll do File New. I'm going to check on Compute Tangent Space Per Fragment, and we're going to select our box low. Hit OK. Here's our box low. We can see our, uh, our UV shells there. Okay. Uh, we're going to make sure that we're on the texture set settings. And we're going to go to bake textures. In here, I'm going to load in my high poly. Hit open. I'm going to check none and then I'm going to check normal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bake with the default settings and I know that I'm going to get an error uh, because the way that the box and my high poly uh, are situated um, or sitting on top of each other, but I want to go ahead and show that anyways. Um, we can go ahead and put this up to 2K and we'll hit bake texture. Okay. And we'll do 3D only. So here we can see that we're starting to get it, but we've got a bit of the uh, the low poly kind of uh, sticking out there. Okay, and what that means is that I need to adjust uh, my ray distances. So we're going to open up big textures, and I'm going to take the max rear distance, and uh, we'll bring that up. Let's bring it up to, I, mean, I usually do 0.5. And we'll hit Bake Texture, and this should go away. There we go, it went away. So now we have what looks like uh, a rounded cube, but in actuality, it's just a, uh, you know, a six-sided cube. Um, if we go can take a look at the, uh, the topology. So there you go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 polygons. And it looks like our geometry with uh, 4,800 triangles. So we essentially took a 4,800 polygon cube and baked it down to a 12 polygon cube. Okay, so the point of this video was to show that, uh, you know, baking uh, normal maps isn't just for small details. Um, like bolts and dings and dents and scratches and uh, knurling patterns and such. But um, really what you want to do is you want to bake your edges, right? You want to make a model, whatever it is, and have really good uh, edges and then take that information and bake it down to a lower uh, resolution geometry and uh, get the same visual quality.